Right folks, we're on the strawberry line. I've just got off the 126 at Winscombe. Visited a very pleasant public convenience. A really pretty, a little garden, beautiful flowers, well maintained. I do report on these things. The cheddar one, which I reported on a couple months ago, which was disgusting, not the one in town. I reported on it. And, um, wait a minute, they shut it down. <sighs> so I'm just uh, juggling two cameras as people, it's always very busy this track. I'm only doing this as an introduction. It's the 10th of May 2023. And I'm walking up the strawberry line. Then I'll be making my way skirting Shoot Shelf Hill up to the quarry. Down a lovely track, all the way down until I come to the quarry works, where I cross the road. I cross the road and then I climb up this hill by a disused quarry. Right, over and out for a minute, I'll come back. Sorry, there was someone coming, I, couldn't, I don't like videoing other people. Um, so, yeah, when I've done that, across the road, a very busy ship from Cheddar Road, very dangerous, big heavy lorries. Oh, there's someone else coming now. So I'm going to finish this video in a minute. Then I'm going up past a disused quarry up to a place near the wibbly wobbly track I did a week ago. From there I'll decide whether to do the wibbly wobbly track down into Cheddar or do Piney Slights. It all depends on the time. When I get to that point I need to allow two hours if I'm doing Piney Slights. Okay? I need to allow two hours. Right, so in a minute I'll come back on again when I get to the Winscombe Old Steam Train Tunnel, which I have videoed a few times in the past. Right. right, before anyone comes, I'll do another little video to join on. I'm carrying on the strawberry line, and right in the distance there, let me get in the shade a minute and I'll be able to see. Before anyone comes, right in the distance up there, is the entrance to Winscombe Tunnel. See it? Now I did that before it was widened, before it was stabilised and before it had lights. I did it in pitch black and you couldn't see through it like that. It was like a pinhole. Um, that's one of my early recordings. Um, 10, 15 years ago, maybe longer. And uh, I, it was very popular on um, YouTube. Lots of people liked it because I, I called it the Spooky Winscombe Tunnel. It, it was very, very, very creepy. I videoed going through it. It was pitch black. I forgot to bring a torch. And all the time you could hear creaks and groans and pitter-patter of damp dripping down. Um... I had a couple of instances after that where I, no, on that particular day, I remember looking back just before I went in and I saw a dark figure a bit further up from here on the side. I saw someone dressed all in black and it did show on the video and then I don't know who it was, then they, it disappeared. Another time, when I was cycling, I did used to cycle a lot more. When I was coming from the other direction, I stopped before I cycled in, just to make sure I knew if there was anyone in coming. It was still dark tunnel then. It was still a dark tunnel. I thought I saw, well I know I saw someone on a bike coming through at the other end. So I thought, get ready to ring your bell. I turned my lights on my bike. I didn't see them. I didn't see their lights. Now, halfway through the tunnel, 
I never saw them once. But halfway through, it was as if someone had brushed my arm. Someone on a bike went past me fast. It scared me a bit because I'd rung my bell. I had my little lights on. When I got to the end, I looked back, and normally you can see if there is somebody emerging or somebody's just emerged. Nothing. I've never forgotten that. Those were the two incidents. The very first visit, when I walked, and it seemed to take me ages to walk through it in the pitch black. It was pitch black. That was a very, very popular video. And of course I've saved it. I need to put that one on my uh, Ancestry site actually. I need to do that one. Might not be on there. Uh, I need to find it and get that put on. But now, when you go in the tunnel now, you see from here, today in 2024, it opens right up and you can see right through it. Look. You can see if anyone's coming. And there is somebody just coming. I can just see the heads. Before you wouldn't, it was just pins, it was a pin pinhead. And it's got all lights, bright lights that light up each side. I would say there's a group of people, at least two, three, maybe maybe four people coming through. But it's all lit up. It's been cleaned up. And they widened, they somehow they seem to widen the other end. Uh, they did a lot of work on it. Um, it's a part of the strawberry line. Like I say, you can see how you can see people coming through. Right? You can see, and you can see clearly the other side. I think I can see at least four people. I'm going to let them come through. Um, but when I did it 15 odd years ago, it was, and it was all covered in cobwebs and ivy hanging down big time. As you entered, it was all really spooky. It was a good video. And I'm going to do another one now, walking through it in 2024. I'll do it but there are some people coming some people do like to enjoy the experience and they take a lot of time a long time so I might not hang about for them to come out um, it's telling people to keep left I suppose that's because of bikes people might have got run over by bikes whizzing through keep left when using the tunnel use bike lights torches when needed and then we look back, there's a bloke who's still coming through with a Labrador. I want to video this, I want them to come through pretty quickly. But there's always going to be somebody coming through, but I might just, might just have to video them. Now I can, at the moment I can only see two, but I'm sure there are more. So what I'm going to do is turn off for a minute and take a photo and then I'm going in. Right, I'm entering the tunnel. There is somebody coming, but I'll just do a picture of the tunnel as I'm going in, and, but, um, and I'll take a picture going out, a little, little um, indentation there, look, that's where you can stand out the way if a train was coming. They've got them everywhere. There's another one there. Oh, you have the echo. Someone will be coming in here in a minute. It's locked. They're all the way along. These indentations. I'm not having to do flash. There's two people on bikes. They might be able to see me, you see. Um, I should carry on videoing even if they come. But you can see how wet it is where the ceiling drips. Now you imagine it being pitch black with a smaller hole up there. 
like I said, I got the recording. And, um, yeah, look. I'll take another picture here. They're coming through now. I can see somebody on there. Right, turn your camera around so they can see your light. They might be able to see that light, see? I don't know if they can. I'm just going to record them as they go by because you won't be able to see them. That's it. They're coming through. Hiya! I've re you can't see who they are, so I've kept them on the video. Um, but see, so you can see it. You, when they're in the middle, you can't really see them. You can't really see them. And imagine when it was pitch black. Okay? When it was pitch black. And the tunnel entrance here was quite small and it was covered in netting and, and plant life. It was much smaller. What they've done, they've opened it right up. But it, men carved this out, by the way. There's netting here, look, in case any rocks fall on your head. They put netting along. And you can see them maybe further near the entrance. You can see the, the dig marks where the tunnelers came and carved this out. You can see their marks somewhere, I remember, remember that. Just striated lines of men cutting and carving their way through. They might have used dynamite as well. Um, but they carved their way through this rock. There we are. But like I said, it's much, much lighter now. Is it? Yeah. Much lighter. But it was carved by people. Like I said, they might have blasted as well to get through. And then we come out the other side. Now sometimes when I'm coming back this way, I don't always do the tunnel. I'll go up above. There's a path up the top. I like to vary my walks. I don't always do the tunnel. If I've done it quite thoroughly one on one of my yearly walks, I um, don't need to keep walking through it. And it gets busier and busier um, at the moment. But at the weekend, this will be quite busy. So... There you go, and I just zoom through. As you can see, you can see through. It's a bit slightly smaller the hole from this way, I think. But it doesn't look like anyone's coming in, does it? The bloke with the dog. Yeah, I think he might just be arriving. I always like to do an update of the tunnel. I always like to do an update. Because back there is where I saw the, on the other side of the tunnel, where I saw the black figure. I remember that. It was very, very creepy. And there was a, a drama. Pinter, I think, or somebody like that made a drama called The Railwayman. And it was about a Victorian steam train that had crashed in a tunnel. Lots of people had been injured. And years later... A black figure could be seen trying to wave people down, trying to wave the train down. It was quite a creepy, it was Signalman actually I think it was called. It was called the, Sig the Signalman. And it showed his life in the signal box. A visitor turned up. It was really creepy. I loved that, but I did love it and it wasn't, didn't go on too long. Right, over and out for a bit now, because I don't want to use all the Sony up. But people are coming. So we managed to have the tunnel quite quietly to ourselves. 
Now that's I say the plan is to walk along here the old strawberry line to cheddar and it still weaves in and out but not exactly like this on the way to cheddar this little pathways and things like that you know it's a nice walk and I'm surprisingly feeling all right at the moment but it's early part of the day um, and I won't say too much because if things can change my bag is obviously very heavy at this time of the day all the water you see I haven't drunk anything yet but I made sure I had a pint of water before I come out I had a half a pint of lemon and ginger tea and I think I had two cups of ordinary tea I had um, a yogurt and some crispy cornflakes and this is our that's the way up there if we go up that way you can walk around the top of the tunnel 